Hello everybody. In today's session, we are going to be looking at what is an image. So images are made up of tiny dots called pixels. There's thousands of dots in every single image. Every pixel is a different color. And to know what color to light up that pixel to, to actually create the image, it has to get a specific code, which is a binary code, so that it knows what color to become. The amount of colors actually depends on how many bits are available for each of the different pixels. So what I mean by that, if we think about our binary conversion chart where we, where we often use eight bits, if we were to use just one of those bits, there'd be two colors available if it was a one or a zero in that one position. And if we were to use four bits, so like a nibble, there are 16 different possible combinations. So like you've got zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, zero, and so on. And there's, there's 16 different combinations that you can make there, which means there'd be 16 different colors available with four bits. 24 bits would be over 16 million colors available. And to calculate that, there is actually a way of calculating it. So you can just do uh, two to the power of n, where n is the number of bits per pixel. So for example, if we were just using our eight bit conversion chart, like we've done loads of times with our binary conversions, we can do two to the power of eight, which gives us 256, which is a really quick way of working it out. The other way of working out is if you had a one in every single position of our conversion chart and added it all up together, it would give you 255, but then there's the null value as well if they were all zeros, which means in total we've got 256 colors available with eight bits. So that means that each bit could be one of those 256 colors. But if we then use 24 bits, because there's so many colors available, that means that the overall file size of the image is going to be much larger. What is image resolution? So image resolution is quite simply the number of pixels that are in an image. And you can, you can calculate it a bit like you would in maths uh, if you were calculating the area of a square. So you just do the width times the height. So if an image has more pixels, it will be much higher quality because there's more dots available in that picture. So there's more quality there. However, because there's more pixels, that means you're gonna have to have more binary information stored about that image, which means that the, the overall file size is gonna be much bigger. So there's two things so far that's affected the file size. The number of pixels that are available, which is the resolution, and the number of bits per pixel, which is the color depth. So all of those pixels can be a number of possible colors. So the higher those are, the higher the file size overall. Now, when it comes to storage on the computer, you can actually calculate how many bits the image is gonna take up. And there's a little formula that we can do for it. So first of all, we can do the width times the height, like we did to calculate the resolution and how many pixels are in the image. But then we can also multiply that by the color depth by how many bits are in each pixel. Let's say that one image uses three different colors. Now we know we need at least two bits to be able to create three different colors. So this image next to me has got 25 different pixels. So to calculate this resolution, I did five times by five. And then because the number of bits needed was two, I'm then gonna times that by two. So in total, that's gonna give us 50 bits to store the image. Now you may be asked to calculate uh, how many bits are in an image, but they may ask you to give your answer in something like bytes or kilobytes, depending on the size of the image. But in the question itself, it will give you all the information that you need to know to be able to do this. Just remember to multiply them all together. Okay, finally, we need to talk about something called metadata. It's been a question on past exams a couple of times actually, explain what is meant by metadata. And it is one that throws people off. It's a two mark answer. So in terms of a definition, uh, metadata stores additional image information. So if you wrote that and then gave some examples of metadata, then you would get your two marks. Another thing that you can write about metadata when explaining is it helps the computer recreate the image on screen from the binary data in each pixel. So these are the examples. So with things like your file format, uh, the width, height, color depth, resolution. There's sometimes more than that as well. That's just a few of the examples, like GPS information will be on there as well. Okay, so that's it for your image representation topic. We've got some questions that we can practice. So 
Question number one, state what is meant by the term resolution. Because it's a state question, it's often only a one mark answer, that one. Describe how images are represented in binary. State what is meant by metadata. Give one example of metadata that could be stored alongside an image. Explain how reducing the number of colors in an image can reduce its file size. And finally, calculate how many bits an image uses with a resolution of 15 by 9, which uses 16 colors. So as always, give these questions a go before you check back in your notes or anything like that. And then obviously, if you're not sure, then go back, watch the video again and check your notes again. That repetition is what's going to get you really confident in answering these questions in your exam. All right, that's it for this session. See you next time.